John Wall's return to the NBA basketball court has not disappointed, and it'd be unfair for James Harden not to give him a chance. I know John Wall's health has always been a question mark, and he's probably not the most reliable guy to play the whole season, but it'd be unfair for James Harden to sit out just because he wants to go to Brooklyn or Philly. I mean, it's debatable that Philly would even be that much better than Houston. Obviously, if James Harden can find a way to Brooklyn, he should take that route because it'd be his highest chance to win a title, but Brooklyn is not willing to give up Kyrie or KD, and Houston doesn't want anything less. So if there is no route to Brooklyn, what exactly are we doing here? We're gonna sit out a whole year just to get to Philly of all places, and for who, Ben Simmons? So you wanna play with Joel Embiid so bad, you're not willing to give the Houston Rockets a chance with John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins, maybe being healthy, they look good so far, and a lot of good pieces and a lot of sharp shooters. You got centers now, you don't gotta worry about rebounding. You got a brand new coach and a brand new system that's looking to move the ball and up the tempo even more. To me, Philly is not that much of an improvement over Houston, if it even is one. We don't know how he would fit there. So why sit out the whole season just to go to a slightly better team, maybe? Obviously, things didn't work out with Russ, and I still view Russ as a better player than John Wall, but John Wall, to me, fits better alongside James Harden. Yeah, he's not that good of a shooter, but he's a better shooter than Russ, and he plays a lot more in control and in rhythm. He's like a hybrid of Russell Westbrook and Chris Paul. He's not as good as Chris Paul or as good of a shooter, but he's also a little bit more in control than Russ, and I think that could be a good fit alongside James Harden. You get the tempo of a younger player that is looking pretty good so far, but you also get the control of a veteran point guard that doesn't lose focus on the game and try to stab pad and stuff like that. Another problem with James Harden is the fact that his usage rate is massive and he takes more shots than anybody in the league. So you can't just plug him in anywhere. He's a major piece and he needs to be integrated. How do you integrate him in Brooklyn? Let's say somehow they're able to keep KD and Kyrie, even though Houston has literally said they're not gonna do that. Okay, we have James Harden, KD, and Kyrie. James Harden is used to taking the most shots in the league and having the highest usage rate in the league. How do they work around that? How do you say, no, Kyrie's gonna take it this and KD's gonna get it here and then James Harden's gonna be integrated. What's he gonna do, go back to his OKC role when he came off the bench? Like that's never going to happen. He'll never go back to that minor role where he takes the least amount of shots and it just kind of fits in. He does not catch and shoot anymore and he does not shoot mid range anymore. Now granted, a lot of that had to do with Dan Tony, but how much do you think this guy's gonna change? Do you think he's just gonna completely remap his entire game overnight? Absolutely not. But in Houston, he doesn't have to. He can just make some tweaks and move the ball just a little bit more with the pieces that he has. Guys like John Wall, guys like DeMarcus Cousins, all those sharpshooters around you. Now you got centers you can kick it to. You can do more lobs like you did with Clint Capella because now you have that seven footer Christian Wood who's really athletic that can grab him. But if you do this anywhere else, maybe in Philly you can do it. But do you think Joel Embiid's gonna wanna sit there and watch you dribble between your legs? Hell no, he's gonna want the ball on the post. So even fit wise, this is the best place for Harden. He is right where he wants to be. Unless he can completely change his game and still be as effective as he was, or at least impact winning as much as he does, there is no way out for James Harden. And that's what confuses me the most about this. Because a guy that has so much responsibility on his shoulders all the time, how are you gonna blame the franchise? They have tried everything for you. Daryl Morey made trades out of thin air his entire tenure in Houston. And then you wanna to go to strip clubs, blame the organization and say, well, I don't get help. I, everybody feels sorry for me. No one feels sorry for you, bro. You won an MVP and you put up 40 points a game. That's part of the responsibility of that. They expect you to do the same thing in the playoffs and obviously you're not able to. The teams are adjusting to you, man. They're not just gonna sit there and be like, they're gonna say, all right, let's double team that guy. Let's get all over that guy. Let's make him feel uncomfortable. And that's exactly what they did, and they do it every year. That's why you lose to better teams. Let me know in the comments, do you think James Harden should stick with his trade request and hold out, or do you think he should just play for Houston and see where things go? I know which one I'm choosing. But also leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more NBA content just like this.